Good afternoon. My name is Tyro Ng Pauko, married to my wife of 10 years, Elaine. I was 17 when my parents separated. I was shattered by this event and this started a dark time in my life. I stayed with my father while my mom moved to the US. I met my wife when I was 25. And after seven years of being together, we decided to get married. During our early years, we had problems conceiving a baby, and after a few years of failing, we became distant to each other. Because of this, our intimacy suffered. We also had opposing personalities. Elaine was confrontational, and I was not, and I would usually just give in when we had fights. Slowly, my repressed feelings turned to anger inside me, and one day I just gave up and stopped talking with my wife. To relieve this, I turned to drinking and going out with the wrong crowd. I opened two bars, I lived an immoral lifestyle, and during the time we were hurting, I was drunk most of the time and became a borderline alcoholic for three years. I was trying to numb myself from our problems. During this time, I met a woman who came from the same background as me, and we quickly grew close together because we felt that we could understand each other. I committed adultery and had an affair which lasted for three years. Elaine was devastated when she found out, and it broke her. It sent our marriage into a deeper downward spiral. My wife and I decided to separate because we thought everything was not working out. On the night before our separation, a friend who attends CCF asks us if we are open to being counseled by a couple. We agreed and they visited us th that very night. They shared with me the gospel that night. This started a weekly Bible study that lasted for two years. During those two years, I was learning a lot about Jesus. But, marriage, but my, our marriage was still rocky. I compromised a lot, and I found it hard to let go of my worldly ways. Our counselors then suggested that we attend a marriage retreat in Baguio. This was where we met our current disciples. We found out that we were neighbors with them, and they invited us to a weekly Bible study in our village. This turned into our couple's D group. I wasn't comfortable joining at first because of my guilt. I was surrounded by worldly friends for a long time, and I was struck by the difference of how our group gave me biblical advice, and I learned to apply it in our daily struggles in marriage. Minsan kasi pag worldly friends ko, they would usually give me advice that's not really biblical, and they would say, iwan mo na yan, walang mangyayari sa'yo dyan. But my D group, would usually tell me, no, uh, marriage is a covenant and we should honor it. It's a covenant to God. What, no, what, what God has put together, let no man separate. Slowly, we learned accountability and how to resolve our conflicts together with our D group. When I joined this group, God opened my eyes that there were happily married people. And even if they were not perfect, they made it work. After a few months of attending this group, I gathered a great amount of knowledge about faith and salvation, but I was still living my life according to my will. I had bouts of guilt about my actions that led to my marital conflicts. It was still all head knowledge. It was until my wife and I had a big fight that led me to talk with one of our group mates. He pointed out to me that I hadn't fully surrendered my life to Jesus. I was in denial at first, but deep down, I knew he was right. That night, I surrendered my whole life to Jesus. All my worries, my doubts, my difficulties, I just let Him take control. I repented from my sins, and I finally understood what for forgiveness truly meant. A few months later, my wife and I decided to get baptized. During the baptism, I was able to share my testimony to strangers for the first time. By God's grace, I felt a great burden was lifted from me, and I truly felt free from the bondage of my sins. God impressed upon my heart to start leading people to Him. And after wavering for, for a few months, I gathered up the courage to lead my employees 
to my first Bible study session. My employees quarreled and squabbled a lot, but slowly they started changing the way they treated each other after a lot of Bible studies. Some of my friends joined us. It came to a point that the group got so big that we decided to form our own men's D group. The hearts of the men in that group have been touched by Jesus and are now living their lives for Him. God brought us full circle when Elaine and I served as facilitators during last year's marriage event. Serving during the retreat really showed us how God is working in our lives. Our couples D group also helped us renew our vows during our 10-year wedding anniversary. It was a heartwarming time for all of us as the whole group celebrated with us because they were all instrumental in our marriage restoration. My wife and I now serve God by counseling other couples with marital problems. We are also co-leading a couples D group, which we started a few months ago. God has also led me to serve in CCF Gateway Music Ministry, which will be opening soon. Our D group is vital to our marriage. It is where I learned to be accountable not only to God, but to the people of the group I belong to. By God's grace, I wouldn't be here speaking to all of you right now if not for the groups that God has led me to. It's truly life-changing to be part of a small group to praise and worship Jesus together and learning from each other along the way. Kia, let's vault into a D group. To God be the glory.